and welcome to mechanical engineering gate tutorials and in this video lecture i am going to explain how to solve the problems related to compound ties or bars so here compound ties or bars means here uh, uh, a bar or a tie which is made up of two different materials and whenever the load is applied in that tie or bar so what is the amount of the load that is going to act on both materials and as well as what is the stress that is going to take place in the two materials those things we need to find in these uh, problems uh, related to compound ties and bars so first i would like to take one example here so i'm taking uh, a compound bar that is made up of two different materials i'm assuming uh, let it may be steel or brass so that uh, i want to represent as two rods uh, one is hollow component in that uh, another solid rod that may be inserted to make a compound uh, bar like that so that we can represent uh, with the help of uh, one round bar or rod sorry uh, i have erased it so that we can represent like uh, one rod is surrounded by another rod which is of different material so first i would like to take uh, one rod representation okay so assume this is one solid rod okay and which is surrounded by another rod like this we can assume so this is of different material like assume this is of a steel rod okay so these are two rods uh, which are uh, joined together to uh, to avoid the uneven strains uh, whenever these uh, bar or tie is used for a supporting element okay so to prevent the uneven strains that are going to take place one single rod so to avoid those things uh, uh, these type of uh, compound ties or bars are used okay so one rod is surrounded by another uh, cylindrical uh, rod of hollow component okay so this we can uh, say that uh, made up of two different materials so outer cylinder assume it as a steel and inner uh, we can assume as a brass so whenever these two uh, two different materials are used to make a bar okay and this can be used as a, uh, a structural element or for any mechanical uh, element uh, to form a particular uh, uh, mechanical device so in that whenever the load acts on this particular type of uh, compound ties or bars so what is the total amount of load that is going to act and what is the uh, load shared by the two different materials and what is the stress shared shared by these two materials that we need to analyze in compound ties and bars so uh, here i am assuming uh, one load is acting that is p the axial load which is acting uh, parallel to the axis so in this condition we can say that this uh, entire load can be shared by these two different materials so that means here this load is distributed to the two materials uh, by which that bar is made up of so that uh, distributed or shared means we can write it as uh, this p is equal to the load shared by one material plus and the load shared by another material so we can write it as some of the two loads uh, that is shared from the exact axial load we are applying okay so we can write as p1 plus p2 so p1 is related to the load that is given to the one material and p2 is the load that is given to the second material okay it may be of steel and it may be of brass or some other material materials if we consider depending upon that so the total load can be written as some of the two loads shared by the two different materials which is made up of uh, uh, two different materials okay so and at the same time uh, from the knowledge of uh, stress uh, uh, that stress is equal to already we know that sigma is equal to load by area so in this uh, load is equal to we can write it as sigma into area so in the same way p1 is equal to we can write it as sigma 1 and a1 and p2 is equal to also we can write it as sigma 2 and a2 so in place of that we try to write the total load p that we have applied uh, over the entire bar that is equal to we can write it as sigma 1 a1 plus sigma 2 a2 
okay so again sigma 1 is the stress induced in the first material and sigma 2 is the stress induced in the second material and similarly a1 is the area of the uh, first material and a2 is the area of the second material okay so this is the modify equation modified equation with the help of the stress formula we know that sigma is equal to load by area okay so uh, this is uh, the load which is equal to uh, some of the two loads shared by the two different materials for making a compound bar and at the same time uh, the concept uh, uh, related to this compound ties and bars uh, one more statement we can give whatever the deformation has been taken place in one material that is equal to the another material because these two are joined together so whatever the strain happens in one particular material so the same strain happens in the second material also so that means the deformation is equal in these two materials why because both are joined together as a single body so in that case we can write it as strain that is e we can write it as strain in one material is equal to strain in second material so whatever the strain takes place in one material that is equal to uh, strain taking place in the second material okay so again from the knowledge of uh, uh, Young's modulus uh, that is uh, modulus of elasticity e is equal to we can write it as stress by strain so from this equation strain is equal to we can write it as stress by Young's modulus okay so in place of e1 we can write it as sigma 1 by e1 and in place of e2 we can write it as sigma 2 by e2 so from this uh, uh, strain equality statement for the compound bar so again it can be written as sigma 1 by e1 is equal to sigma 2 by e2 okay so this is uh, another relation we can write uh, for the compound bar and similarly we can write it as sigma 1 by sigma 2 that is the stress induced in one material divided by stress induced in the second material is equal to the ratio of young's uh, modulus of elasticity values for the two materials by which this compound bar is made up of okay so these uh, two relations are uh, uh, basic uh, uh, conditions uh, we have to know uh, while solving the problems related to the compound ties and bars so try to remember uh, this one that uh, that is the load acting on the compound bar is equal to some of the loads shared by the uh, compound bar uh, shared by the two different materials of the compound bar and similarly uh, that is the ratio of stresses induced in the two different materials is equal to ratio of the Young's modulus values of the two different materials okay so these two relations are very very important for solving the problems okay so this is the basic concept for solving the uh, problems related to computation bars and uh, next uh, we try to solve one uh, some basic problem so here I have taken one problem uh, which is given as uh, that is a copper rod of 40 mm diameter is surrounded tightly by a cast iron tube of 80 mm external diameter and the ends being firmly fastened together uh, when put a compressive load of 30 kN, uh, what load will be shared by each? And also, uh, we need to determine the amount by which uh, the compound bar shortens if it is 2 meters long. And here, the Young's modulus values for cast iron and the copper are given that is 175 and 75 GN per meter. Sorry, that is of meter square. Uh, let me correct it. Yeah. So I have corrected uh, that is of giga Newton per meter square or giga Pascals we can write so this is the compound bar uh, which is a uh, which is made up of copper and the cast iron and for this here the compressive load is given which is acting uh, on the uh, bar so then we need to find uh, what is the load shared by the two materials and as well as what is the uh, elongation or uh, that, that sorry not elongation what is the compression that is the deformation uh, uh, has taken place in that bar we need to find here so first uh, uh, we try to do one thing so that uh, we try to write uh, what are the values are given exactly so first uh, the diameter of the uh, copper is given uh, that I am assuming as DC so diameter of the copper so that is equal to we can write it as we can write it as uh, 40 mm 
okay and similarly uh, the diameter of cast terrain is also given uh, that i'm assuming d suffix ci that is the value is given as 80 mm so these values we can write in terms of meters also uh, that is of into 10 power minus 3 or otherwise uh, we can write it as 0 0.04 meters and the uh, diameter of cast terrain is 0 0.08 meters okay these are the two diameter values are given for uh, copper and cast iron and, uh, and the next one is uh, the compressive load so what is the load that is the total load is given as p is equal to uh, that is of 30 kilo newtons okay and next uh, uh, the e values are given that is young's modulus value e cast iron is equal to 175 into uh, giga means we can write it as 10 power 9 newton per meter square and similarly young's modulus value of uh, that copper is equal to 75 giga pascals means uh, into 10 power 9 newton per meter square we can write okay so these are the values given with the help of these values we need to find uh, the load shared by two materials and as well as what is the deformation that is the compression has taken place so first uh, we try to uh, take the example uh, uh, help of the diagram here so the diagram we can represent the two rods uh, uh, joined together one is surrounded by other one so first uh, uh, this can be represented as a uh, one rectangle I'm considering for the material of copper and the next uh, material I'm assuming uh, that is of cast iron that cast iron is surrounded by uh, sorry the copper is surrounded by cast iron material okay so for this again uh, the dimensional values are given uh, the diameter of uh, that copper is given as 0 0.04 uh, this is of copper and uh, the diameter of uh, cast iron is given as 80 mm so this entire diameter is given as 80 mm and this uh, diameter uh, that is of copper is given as uh, 40 mm and the length of the rod is uh, given as 2 meters so this is a simple diagram we can represent for a given problem so uh, with the help of this uh, we try to find what is the load shared by the two materials and uh, what is the uh, compression uh, by the amount by which it is compressed we try to find so before that we try to find the areas of the two uh, bars here so first i would like to try uh, i would like to find that area of the copper ac is equal to which is of in circular cross section so the area of the circle we can write it as sorry pi by 4 into d square so that is of dc square here so pi by 4 into uh, dc square means uh, 0 0.04 whole square we need to write so the area value uh, we'll get by using the calci as uh, 0 0.004 meter triple zero four pi meter square okay and next similarly we try to find uh, the area of uh, cast iron so uh, which is uh, the entire diameter from the axis position the diameter value is given but we need to find uh, from this end position to the uh, end position of uh, copper uh, in between that what is the uh, material area we need to find here so for that we can use the formula of uh, area of the uh, hollow circle so for that the formula is pi by 4 into uh, dci 
square minus dc square we need to consider okay so in that if you substitute the values pi by 4 into dci is a uh, 0 0.08 square minus 0 0.04 square then you will get the value as uh, 0 0.0012 pi meter square so these are the two areas uh, we'll get uh, for the two uh, materials that is given in the problem and next we go for first condition uh, the condition is uh, in both materials we know that the strain is equal so we can write it as strain strain in copper is equal to strain in cast iron so uh, that means e c is equal to we can write it as small e c i so from the young's modulus equation we can write it as e c uh, sorry not e c sigma c divided by e c is equal to sigma c i divided by e c i we can write okay so uh, again here e c and e c i values are given but we don't know what is sigma c and sigma c i so for that sake we try to write sigma c i divided by sigma c is equal to uh, e c i divided by e c and now sigma sorry sigma c i is equal to we can write it as e c i divided by e c into sigma c when you substitute the values of e c i that is a 175 divided by e c is 75 both are of same units so the ratio we can consider directly into sigma c we'll get uh, the relation as sigma c i is equal to uh, 2.33 into sigma c so this is the relation we get and assume this equation as one okay next we go for the another condition which is uh, the load uh, that is the load applied p is equal to we can write it as pci plus pc okay that is the sum of the two loads is shared by the two materials uh, that is equal to the total load acting on the compound bar here so already we know that p value is given 30 kilo newtons that is equal to in place of pci we can write sigma ci into area of ci material plus sigma c into area of copper material okay the this is the formula already we know uh, for load is equal to we can write as stress into area so similarly uh, this 30 is equal to in place of sigma c i we can write from equation 1 that is as 2.33 into sigma c into uh, a c i already we got the value as uh, uh, that is of cast iron sorry okay so uh, this uh, in place of uh, this a c i uh, we can write it as uh, uh, the value of 0. Point, sorry 0. Point zero zero one two pi plus and uh, sigma c we don't know keep it keep it as it is and the ac value already we got here uh, that is similarly as aci that is 0.004 into pi that is of 0.004 into pi and uh, when you solve uh, uh, this equation we'll get sigma c uh, that is of uh, 30 is equal to we'll get uh, 0 0.01042 into 
sigma c then sigma c is equal to we'll be getting uh, that is 30 divided by whatever the value we got 0 0.01042 and then sigma c is equal to we'll get the value as uh, 2987 kilonewtons per meter square because we, the load we have uh, substituted as uh, kilonewtons 30 kilonewtons so same sigma c will get it as in kilonewton per meter square meter square which is the stress value for copper material so from the relation uh, this equation one uh, we can find what is sigma c also so sigma c i is equal to from the relation that is the equation one uh, equal to 0.33 into sigma c in place of sigma c we can write it as 2987 okay so which uh, becomes equal to 6960 try to use the calci <coughs> approximately you'll get it is equal to 6960 or 6961 you may be getting so this is also kilo newton per meter square which is of uh, stress in the cast iron we got the stress values in uh, two materials but we need to find what is the load uh, that is acting in each material so first if you try to find the load acting in copper that is pc is equal to we know that sigma c into ac and sigma c we got the value as 2987 into ac we know that 0. Point, i think triple zero four into pi and that uh, the load value will get it as uh, 3.75 3.75 kilo newtons that is of load acting in copper material bar okay so this is pc next we need to find what is pci the load related to cast iron also so that pci is equal to again we can write the equation as uh, that is of sigma ci into area of that cast iron uh, material so sigma ci we got it as 6960 into the area uh, the relation we got it as 0 0.0012 into pi meter square so when you uh, modify this equation with the help of the calci you will get the form uh, value as uh, 26 point two five kilo newtons that is of load acting in cast iron okay so this is the load value which is in cast iron and one more thing we need to find what is the uh, compression uh, that is uh, going to take place in two materials when the length is given as two meters the length value was given as two meters so with the help of this length value we need to find what is the compression that is the compressed amount in the uh, compound bar we need to find uh, before that we know that strain is equal to uh, stress by uh, young's modulus okay so in this we try to find uh, the stress related to copper and uh, young's modulus is also related to copper or else we can uh, take the uh, values related to cast iron also so whatever you want you can take so in place of this e we can write it as change in the length that is a compressed amount divided by original length is equal to sigma c divided by ec and we need to find what is delta l the delta l is equal to sigma c by ec into we can write it as l so in place of sigma c the value we got it as uh, what is the sigma c 2987 2987 divided by ec is uh, in copper 75 into we need to write 10 power 9 because it is given in giga newton per meter square into length is 2 meters so then uh, we'll get the value as 0 0.4 zeros 0 0.0000 79 or 8 you may be getting so that is in meters 
if you want to write in mm multiply uh, with a thousand then the three decimal points uh, it will go further so then uh, 0 0.079 sorry 96 mm is the compression that is uh, made or uh, that is happened in the compound bar okay so this is the way of solving problems related to the compound bars so in which uh, basically we need to find the load shared with the two materials and the deformation that has been taken place after the application of the load in the compound bar this deformation is same for the two materials because both are tightly connected together okay i hope you understood uh, this uh, simple example problem and as well as what is the basic concept required for solving the problems related to the compound ties or bars so once again thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you still have any doubts feel free to give a comment on my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts once again thank you so much